Howdy folks, it's me BHD Impulse bringing you some more World of Tank gameplay and this time I got two gameplays for you to watch and these are gameplays where I've managed to complete a mission on the you know this you know the missions, it's the ones where you get three tanks and this the first one is I believe a Stug or something like that, it's a German uh, uh, tank destroyer. However as you know, I haven't had my PC for over two now, uh, for just under two months, so I haven't been able to play. So I haven't been able to work towards any more of these challenges. I did, I did another, another two challenges earlier today, and that's because one, uh, it had to be platooned, and I managed to do that with my good friend, uh, the Berwick. Yeah, he check out his channel. You know, you know, he needs, you know. The love. We all need the love, you know. We all need help from you, lovely YouTubers. So please check out his channel. You know, give him a little bit of love. Uh, we managed to do some more challenges, which are a bit fun because you have to. There are pull two challenges in this damn missions in this game, which are really annoying. However, let's get back to what we're doing now. We're doing the SPG, which is the artillery. I hate artillery. It's boring. Uh, you don't do much. You just twiddle your finger around making sure you time it just right and fire and because I'm not exactly a, a patient person I don't like doing it and because I get boring because I like to get into the action that's why you, you've probably seen me with uh, mainly with he uh, heavy tanks because I like love the heavy tanks however I've got to get myself into the mindset of being patient and keeping an eye on the map. I'm an average player, I got a win rating of 49%, which is average. Uh, unfortunately, like most average people, I do have tunnel vision. Not all the time. In this match, I don't have tunnel vision because they don't even have a chance to flank us. But normally, I would, at one point in the game, I have tunnel vision or all I see, if I shot the tank a few times, all I can see, I can get this tank, I can get this tank. Instead of backing off, you look at all the YouTubers, especially uh, really good YouTubers, they're telling you, they're giving you hints and tips saying, look, in, if you don't stay and try to finish off a tank, just back off because guarantee somebody else has seen you and they're going to take you out. And I, I always do mainly that mistake because I never ever back off. However, saying that, I have had games where I've played it perfect, but my teammate has given me away. For instance, this morning when I was playing, uh, how can I say, I was in a bush, I had a drop on a tank so I was just waiting for him to come past the rock, and I would have blown him apart, because I already brought him down to 120 health, and I was using the BDR G1D, uh, and literally that's got 240 hit points, 230 hit points and I literally had him in sight and I get rammed in the back by one of my own teammates but the problem is he had been spotted by the other, t other tanks and they were shooting at him and unfortunately because he rammed into me I was in front of him and they kept hitting me and took me out straight away and I couldn't believe I was absolutely fuming he could have of all places why go to where I was he, he, he made a point of driving halfway across the center of the map to get to me all because I was doing well I already had two tank kills I was going for my third one I, it, I just hate the fact that they do that so uh, let's get back onto this mission right as I said um, this mission is quite simply I need to hit three enemy vehicles and the second, mission, second part of the mission is cause a thousands worth of damage Unfortunately, I don't get the thousand worth of damage, but I have hit the three vehicles already. I've already got three hits, so that part of the mission is complete. Oh, the SU. Um, I've got one of those tanks, I think. I think I've got No, I haven't. That's, is it too far? I'm not quite sure if I've got that one. I've got the one below it. However, I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the French tank destroyers, although the tier 5 version is a lot better. I must admit, it has a pretty damn decent gun as you get when you unlock it and it looks pretty damn good. Ammo crap though. <laughs> However, there is a particularly strong armored tank destroyer in this game. Unfortunately, he's on, on the enemy side. I believe it's an AT2. 
That is one hell of a monstrosity to kill if it's facing you. You cannot penetrate it that easy. Uh, it, yeah, it's side arm is pretty good as well, but it's normally its most vulnerable part is normally in the back. <laughs> it's just a pain to, to uh, take out. And at the moment, where is this last thing? I think he's there. Is that, no, he's not. He's behind the building. The pain in the ass. However, I do like playing this. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry I'm not, I haven't uploaded any hardline, but as you may already know, I've already said that I'm having problems. And what's happening is I'm having major frame rate issues. It's dropping considerably, especially when I'm especially online. And I'm not the only one. Uh, first time has help, helped me out on the platoon today. He said some of his friends have got the R2970X. And when they're playing hardline, they have the same problem. It, it, it's bottling and the frame rates are just completely dropping right down. And it's uh, a problem. That I was strange enough, I didn't have this problem before I sent, uh, sent the PC back when it was playing in between the cutting out and, you know, in, in between the graphics cards messing around. It, it was playing and, you know, I was able to get some games. Yes, it was a bit jumpy in some places, but the frame rate was constant. This, it wasn't constant, it was just dropping. And I think since I had, I had that 900 meg update, and since then I think it's gone really worse. Uh, I mean, it could be the update, to be honest, or it could be my system, because at the moment, every time I go in and ask some recommend settings, it gives me high, but it changes my uh, resolution from 1080p to 1368 by 76 no, 1360 by 768. That's what the system re re resolution is giving me. I think it's because uh, that's my TV. And yeah, I'm using a TV. I'm not using a 1080p monitor. I'm using a TV. Uh, the reason why, because I was originally going to get myself the Wi Fi connector, which would connect to the back of the Skybox, which I could have had Sky on this TV while my wife was watching something else on that TV over there. However, I decided to say no to that and I think that's the reason why I might have to try it and see if it works on the, those settings you never know it might work but coming towards the end now it looks like well, we've managed to get this a 82 stuck uh, he's retracted him again and let's go in for the killer blow I think I honestly think he ain't gonna really survive that one is he <laughs> let's have a quick look on how I did there is my challenge yep completed the main priority unfortunately the secondary I didn't do because I fell a little short didn't get the thousand I believe I got 844 I believe I'm not quite sure we'll have a look now to make doubly sure but that's not too bad let's have a look at the next mission mm, 500 hit points survive the battle don't get spotted when you hit them fair enough and oh must destroy the tank as well <laughs> on the secondary part of it fair enough it sounds easy enough but how many times have you known <laughs> the artillery to survive not much eh well, I got my little few my little extra bonuses there for experience because it's part of the weekend challenge that's probably ending soon so let's have a look see how much I really did do in this thing oh I finished fifth that's not bad my first win of the day on this tank so doubled it and yeah 844 ah damn it <laughs> that's a damn right now let's have a look and have let's have a look I should say at our next gameplay the second gameplay will be starting very shortly it is the Matilda you know how much I love my Matilda and you know it's to be honest one of my favorite tier 4 tanks it's not fast it's pretty damn good armor but guns really fast firing rate penetration is not bad 121 however it's only 55 uh, hit hit points but we're in a tier 5 game and i'm playing against the likes of a bdr yeah bdr g1b kv1 <laughs> to say the least a couple of uh, tank destroyers, some uh, medium tanks. These tanks can damage me uh, and anyway, literally take me out quite easily. So this isn't an ideal matchup for this tank. However, 
I hate to say it, I do pretty damn well. The mission I have to achieve in this game is quite simply I must get six hits on uh, any vehicle. I must get six penetration hits. They have to cause damage, and there's one of them. Uh, secondary part of it, I must destroy a tank. So, you know, all I need to do is get six hits. However, they're not making it simple because he's decided to hit the valley. Where's the river? So he can now hide under the bridge at one point if he wants to. Uh, it's a pain in the ass when they hit those little valleys. And he's in the valley as well, so that's going to be annoying. So we've got a PZ3 and we've got a PZ4 D. Hmm. Right. Okay, the 4D could cause me trouble, but I did do damage on him, so he may not like it. Right, I'm now caught in two minds. I can see at the moment, because I'm paying attention to the minimap for a change. This time I'm changing my I can see there's some heavy tanks going towards the center. I've got not much going to the right, not much going to the left at the present time. Oh! Hmm, yeah. It looks like we've got some tank heavy tanks on the left hand side uh, we've got some heavy tanks in the center so where am i going to go what am i going to do i'm not quite sure exactly where to go do i go and help out in the center and to be honest put myself in the position where i could easily be taken out if it's a really strong heavy tank or do i go left and try to flank i honestly do not know and in a second i make my decision and what makes my decision because i get caught into my i start turning in this, right, I start turning, but there, they take out the heavy tank. That made my decision completely. This is the way I'm going. <laughs> when I saw the heavy tank go, that was it. That my decision was made. I was going this way, and you know, uh, yeah, I am not in the fastest tank. This may take a while, you know. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves, you know. Have a bit of fun, you know. You could go and boil an egg. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> oh, something on the right hand side. Oh, who's this? The AMX-40, that's a light tank with extremely strong and angled armour. It's a pain in the ass if you're trying to hit the turret. Alright, and let's go. Ooh, got a nice hit. Ooh, see, he's now, he can't penetrate me, his gun cannot penetrate me. He's doing, trying to track me at the moment, I believe. Oop, snapshot, got a hit. <laughs> but at the moment, he couldn't penetrate because it hit, literally, he couldn't, uh, he didn't have the... Armor piercement to get past my 75 millimeters of armor. <laughs> so, no, right, I can't get a clear shot on any of those because they're behind the hills. So, I'm gonna have to move into position to get behind them, checking to make sure there's no one to the right of me because he was there just a second ago. So, it's still nothing I can hit at the moment. Oh, I just got hit from the right gun. There he is, he's on the riverbed. Right, then, let's go for it. No, that's a miss. Oh, no, that's the thing. Underneath, well, well done. Yeah, best place to aim for this tank is underneath. <laughs> and it's the best place. That's right. Oh, and I've just had my tanks t uh, tracks taken out on the left side as well. Who the hell did that? Ooh, ricocheted came from over there, that way. Where did that come from? Hmm, interesting. I came from somewhere, but where? I can't see anything. Could it be that SU-8... Could it be that tank destroyer, the SU-85? Is it? I'm not sure. It could be. Uh, it's the only one I haven't seen yet. It's the only one that hasn't been uh, spotted yet. And I got hit twice, once in the track and destroyed and, and ricocheted. Let's go for him now. Let's go. Let's go and help this out. You know? So, it, it, it just bugged me. It could be the SU, SU. Hopefully, our tank destroyer will find him because he's on the mini map. And I'm hopefully. I think, trying to get hit back on. Yeah, KV1. Trying to get damage on the KV1. Let's get going. Come on. Ooh, wrong way. Forward. That's it. Oh, there he is. Turn, 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 Will. Turn, Will. Oh, don't worry. You're okay, Will. Don't have to worry. Yeah, better carry on going just in case he takes out our tank destroyer. But it doesn't look like he is. So, let's get back to what we're doing. We've now got two KV-1s to take care of. KV-1 versus the Matilda. Russia versus UK. Great Britain versus the Russians, the USSR. Who is going to win? 
KV with its 120 millimeters of damage and 160 alpha damage, and the Matilda with its only 121 armor piercing and 55 alpha damage. And oh, there's one shot. There's two shot. KV one is looking at me. Oh, somebody tracked him, and I take out KV one. UK beats K one nil to Great Britain. Hey, <laughs> well. That was the end of that game, wasn't it? <laughs> I must admit, I did enjoy playing that one. That was a little bit of fun. I didn't think I was going to do it. And as you can see, I've managed to do the primary and the secondary of this mission, which is absolutely fantastic on a tier 5 game. Not easy. And Matilda normally gets destroyed. And why is it doing that to me? I've done this challenge already before, yet it's telling me I've got to do it again. Oh, I, think it's since it's, I think it's because of the latest update. Uh, and plus I haven't played it for a while so it probably says I need to do it again. Oh, it's really annoying. I hate when it does that. Uh, hopefully, if I if I can't, to be honest, let's get back. If I can't get Hardline working, I'm going to be getting rid of Hardline and going for Battlefield 4 because I know Battlefield 4 works on the R9270 with no problems. And hopefully when Blues gets his PC in the next couple of months, I'll be able to play with uh, Blues and Twos as well. So let's get back into the uh, stats. Yeah, did okay. Not too bad. Done some pretty good damage. And pretty reasonable finish fourth. That's not that bad. Cool headed as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed that match. Until next time, it's me, Will, sign off. And I'll catch you all very, very soon. Please subscribe if you want to keep up for more videos. Until then, bye.